This is the Sponge Docks in Tarpon Springs. You know, we're a very big Greek community uh, with 26,000 people, 25% of Greek heritage. Well, the history of Tarpon Springs is pretty much the fishermen were up here from Key West, and they saw the sponges in the water. So they got a hold of some of the divers in Greece, and they came over, and they started with their diving boats, and thus that's why all the stores now are all descendants of the sponge divers, and the restaurants also. So it's quite a little community, you know. Hello, my name is Susan DeVita, and I work here at the City Marina for the Visitor Center. When you come down here, you get to see the Greek culture. And, and most of the stores still have a lot of the yayas working in the stores, which are the Greek grandmothers, and they still speak the Greek language, which is kind of unique. You don't see that everywhere, and it's a lot like old Greece. People say when they go to Greece, they come here, and it's a lot like Greece was. People come for the sponge docks because they can go down there, they can sit on the water, eat right there, they can watch the sponge boats, they can also watch fishing boats come in and up because this is a working river. We have a lot of boats on the river. We have seven marinas on the other side of the river. We have the biggest boat um, repair service on the other side of the river. So people come and see all that and they love it. Down, the, down at the docks, a little further down, all the boats are all tied to the docks, all the sponge boats. People love to walk by and see the sponges hanging on the boats. It's really cool. And when a boat comes in, they're full of sponges. And people get to see them clean the sponges. They put them all over the docks. And people love that. It's really cool. If you're in Florida, you got to come to the sponge docks. There's no two ways about it. It's a wonderful area. We have the best food, shopping. We have the aquarium. We have the boat rides. People just love it here.